Beth. Good morning to you. Happy hump day. John Walden here. You're there. If you got a song request, prayer request, praise report, any of that stuff, understand that we love you. We appreciate you. You're a part of the family, and so we are here for you. Do not hesitate to text in anytime. 805 to text us. That's 805 283 9887 because I need to hear from you. And I also need to put my other earbud in because it's going to be a little different in here. Uh, because we have guests in the studio, formerly known, formerly known as a band of us, now known as the band of us. And it was fun the way that it used to be because it was A B A N D U V U S, a band of us, a band of us. <laughs> so it used to just be Trey and Mara, and now they have friends. Yes, for the first time in a long time. They wow. have friends. I'm proud Let's of you guys. Go. I'm proud. And they're homes. They were homeschooled, so it fits. Yeah. Trey's the That's only really one well. in our I'm group. I'm the only who public wasn't. school weirdo. <laughs> it's okay. I, I was too. The Trey. homeschool kids were weird, but you know now I'm the weirdo. Well, it's okay. <laughs> well, you're, you're not the weirdo. You're just the outcast. That's all. There, there's a huge difference. You know, you're only weird if you embrace it. That's right. That's right. It's okay to be I'm a weirdo. I'm okay with being that. Yeah. yeah it's it's totally okay to be fine. Weird. Well, that's you know, my daughter Ruby. She came home from kindergarten one day and she was like. She heard other kids talking about one other kid in particular. She's like, yeah, that kid, that kid's a weirdo. And I said, whoa, nope. I said, you're a weirdo. She said, what? I said, you do weird stuff. I said, everybody's a weirdo. They're just weird in their own way. I was like, we don't call people names. Glad that we learned this lesson in kindergarten. Oh, yeah. So so there's that. There's that. But I want to to know what's been going on with Trey and Mara. And also, we have uh, new friends, like we said, in the studio. So I need I need introductions. I need how this happened. I need to know everything about everything as you guys just take over the next hour of the show. So I want to start with this lady over here. This is Emily. Hello, Emily. Hey. Oh, glad that, to be here. It does sound good. Yeah. There's no <laughs> there's no background noise either. So that's the thing I fear with those all the time. Mm. There's going to be echo or background noise or something. So I'm very happy. All right, Emily. So how do you know these crazy people and how did you get plugged in? So I've known Mara for like my entire life. We grew up in church together. Um, we had a blast growing up together. We were in drama team, on praise bands, all sorts of fun stuff like that. Um, so I've known her. I've never not known her in my memories. Right. Um, I met Trey a couple years ago when we joined the same church um, or Yes, join the same church um, <laughs> as them, and um, we've been on the uh, the worship team together. And uh, about a month ago, they they invited me to come and, and be a part, and I said absolutely. It sounds like fun. <laughs> That's so awesome. And also, your husband's here. He's behind the camera today. He's yes. doing a great job. That's Ethan in the house over yeah. there. Uh, he he. Uh, He's a man of the Lord's chicken, yes. and, uh, oh. and he is in uniform today, and I love it. But I'm only disappointed because I cannot smell any chicken whatsoever. <laughs> in high school, I dated a girl that worked at Chick Fil A, and mm-hmm. I'd always, you know, meet her after work, and she always smelled like the chicken. It was like this is glorious. That's beautiful. This is glorious. He'll like, smell like goodness. chicken when he comes home from right. work tonight. You know, <laughs> is it is it more of the cooked chicken, or is it more of the batter smell, or is it a little bit of both? More uh, both. 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 Which one do you get tired of? Both. Oh, <laughs> no, but do you get kidding. tired of eating the food? That's no, the question. Never, never. never. <laughs> There's a difference between working there and having the food come from there. That's the yeah. so, Lord's chicken. That's, I just said that, yeah. Mara. I just want to reaffirm Look, and Sometimes you just got to put a T on the end of it. The Lord's, Lord's. The Lord's chicken. I can't believe you get tired of the smell, man. I'd be all up in Well, there. okay, I don't get tired of the Chick-fil-A smell. I get yeah. tired of the smell that comes off of his his it, person it, it's after he's batter. worked. I'm telling you, know? it's the batter. I know what she's talking about. I remember it distinctly. That, that peanut oil they cook it in, you know? So. There, there's some, yeah, there's something about it. Something about yeah. it. All right, and then over here we have Andrew Bell. Now, you've got to yes. give him the microphone, Trey, because my no, mixer was not acting mine, right. No. Yes. Welcome, Andrew. Welcome. Hello. Uh, so how in the world did you get mixed up and tied in with these crazy people? So this is, <clears throat> this is a... Long story, so I'm going to make it short. Uh, so the uh, the short of it is, I knew Mara when we were very young. We went to a community Bible study together. Fast forward about 10 years, we are all in the same wedding party without realizing it. Um, I meet Trey. We are both uh, groomsmen, and you know we get to know each other at the bachelor party and all the festivities and things like that. Well, day of wedding, they call my name. And out of nowhere, I hear a voice that says, Andrew Bell, I know him. <laughs> and Mara jumps out of line, and I haven't seen her in 10 years, and I'm thinking, I don't know you. <laughs> right. I know little you. Right, yeah. yeah. And so and so she, you know, she's like, I'm Mara, we did community Bible study. And I like, you know, and then like it just all fell in place. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. And so 
um, that was, you know, a few years ago and we ended up becoming friends and, um, playing music together and PlayStation. You know, yeah. <laughs> Trey and I are, are gaming buddies. So, uh, but then, you know, we both played music and we'd get together and play some terrible cold play covers every few weeks. And eventually he was like, Hey, let's, do, let's do this thing for real. So it's very cool. Doing it for real. So that wasn't that long of a story. No, no yeah. I made it short. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that was that's good stuff. And, you know, what's funny about the whole thing is Ethan's already made me realize my age. I did, I did turn 40 last year. So that's uh, that's been something interesting. But this whole relationship is because Mara would listen to me on 93.7 and her and Robin came in and competed on my show at the age of 14, 15. Oh, wow. Yeah, they were young. This is like seventh grade. They were very, but remember, I did start radio full time at 21, so I was young too. <laughs> I've just been doing it for 20 something so, years now. So, what I've been saying the entire time even hold true, holds true today, which is that Mara is the glue that holds the band together. I she's, guess so. She's our nexus point for the entire thing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This, uh, are we starting to get like into Marvel right now? Start, it, A little bit. This the, feels like Marvel theory. The multiverse, yeah. Yeah, it, it really does. So, I just, uh, and Ethan's over there telling me, oh, yeah, I listened to you when I was a kid, you know, every night before I went to bed like thanks man (laughs) so so there's all of that too but i'm only 40 i'm only 40 and that's not old now ruby will say hey old man i'm like girl you you better tread a little lighter right now i am in control of all of the devices you know nothing all right so let's talk about where you guys have been and how it's been with the addition of emily and andrew and how the jam sessions have been going Uh, i'm gonna guess you haven't played any gigs yet besides in church Right. Well, yeah, not not any gigs yet. So, um, yeah, well, I just want to start off real quick with uh, just giving props to to this guy and my buddy Lorenzo, who's uh, who's listening. He's been my best friend since I was a kid. Um, you know, these that Lorenzo and this guy right here are the guys that finally got me to be like, all right, let's do music again. They just kept pushing me and pushing me, like, come on, man, when are we gonna jam? When are we gonna do this? And and those two guys right there, the reason I'd say we're here today is you know they pushed me so much to start doing music which you know ended up pushing mara and here we are you know so thank you andrew and thank you lorenzo <laughs> who's listening at home um so for trey and marriage trey and mara wood yeah how long have you guys been married now this will be 10, 10 years. years i thought i thought it'd been a while yeah we yeah. got married young man yeah, well, 19 but when you know you know yeah that's okay oh yeah that's okay i'm proud of you guys yeah I'm proud of you guys but th- you know you both have a love for music and and obviously, you guys have done an incredible job together, and you know we've always loved having you in the studio. It's just been far too long. Yeah. But talk about kind of the progression of the band, and the, you know, for those who haven't heard you before, because it has been it's been three or four years, I guess, since you guys have been in here playing anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, talk about the style of music and really influences and what people can expect if they were ever to bring the band to their church or their event for you guys to come play. So when we first started, we were in love, and there was, you know, some romance in the music, and there was also, I mean, there's always Christian themes because we believe in Jesus, we Absolutely. love Jesus, we we sing to him, um, yeah. but the, the album that we did when we were in high school is going to be very different from the one that we're going to do now. Right. Um, mm-hmm. In order to kind of, like, explain in a nutshell, I guess it's like the refining process of a Christian and how mm-hmm. painful it can be. Mm-hmm. Um, and how a lot of people, when you're saved at a very young age, you don't realize how hard your life is going to be as a believer and that you're going to mess up. But God's grace is still sufficient mm-hmm. and he still is pursuing us and there's still hope even when it's hard. Like, um, I, I really struggle with fear and the past few years I've, I've allowed it to consume me at times. And, um, I didn't even realize that do not fear was a commandment mm-hmm. until about a year ago. It's funny how like, you know, you're I know, in the Bible, I know, this stuff. I know yeah. the Bible, man, but no, like fe- do not fear is a commandment. And when we sit in fear and let it consume us. It's like we're saying our God isn't strong enough to save us. And and I believe it. Our God is strong enough to save us. And mm. fear is a feeling. Um, God is truth. And my faith is not based on feelings. It is based on truth. So that is kind of the songs that we're going to be singing. Some of them are hard. They're real. It's what people are going through 
maybe because they don't know the Lord or because they're having a hard time in their process of just getting to know God closer and that stretching, being stretched is kind of painful, but Mm. it's better. So I feel like I've been in a pit and I've crawled out and I'm ready to fight. Amen. So, let's go. That's good. Go. Very, uh, very similar to some of the stuff that Lecrae has recently admitted that he mm. had gone through mm. over the last five or six years yeah. as well. And so I think that transparency and that rawness and, and the realness behind it, that really gets people's attention. You know, yeah. it's like, hey, it's hard. We're going to go through it. But he's so much greater. Yeah. He's yeah. so much greater. Amen. And so uh, as we go into song number one, and, and this is also going to be very uh, very raw and very real because uh, we're going to figure out our levels as we uh, as we get going here and test things out. As we've already been testing things out, but you just never know when you have live music uh, in the studio. But this first song that you guys are going to do, uh, what's it called and, and what's it about, Mira? It's called Drums Are Hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's called Drums Are Hard. Um, during COVID, everybody got a little piece of money from the government and we spent it on a drum set. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to learn how to play the drums so bad and I wanted to do all these things and I got really sidetracked. And so whenever I was really worried about like, you know, I can't accomplish my own dreams, I would just get on TikTok or Facebook and waste hours and Mm. hours watching everybody else do stuff. And then I was like, man, like I'm just always sitting around talking about Oh yeah, I got a drum set, but I can't even play it. And I'm I write music, but I'm not writing it. So it's <laughs> um it's about watching everyone else move forward in life when you are choosing to sit down and you could do something about it. Well, I'll I'll be honest, that uh that song title is not as poetic as <laughs> Steady My Hand. Um, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. But it's pretty funny at the same time. Uh Andrew, do you need to put your earbuds in? You gonna feel? You just gonna roll with it. Roll with it. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna get Andrew to hit the keys for me one more time. As loud as the. All right, that looks good. All right, Trey, let's hear a little acoustic over there. A little louder. As loud as you're gonna strum. Okay. I think that'll be good. All right. Um. So. Yeah, I can't do it because the other mics are on. It'll it'll shut you out. Then you do need the earbuds. Uh oh. <laughs> Where did they own it? Uh, can we plug him in right here? There should be right here under the TV. Uh, there's auxiliary plug in. If the cord is long enough, that's the real question. That is the real on the uh, on the earbuds there. But we're gonna make it work. And if it's not, I actually have an extender right here that I can just let you use. Perfect. Uh, off of mine. Okay. So we'll make that happen. Hey, this is real radio. Scrambling, this is how we do scrambling. things. This is it, man. This is rawness right here. <laughs> this is good material. Well, look, we're all about. You know, mixing things up a little bit. You guys are the alternative part of what we do. The rock, the hip-hop, and the alternative. Woo! Look, people that love 21 Pilots and, and things of that nature, this is this is where you guys fall in. Yeah. And, and I, I love the uh, I love the parody. You know, everything that comes with it. So, oh, he's got legit. Like, I just got cheap little $10 earbuds that I got, like, at uh, Ross or something. Uh-huh. Like, Andrew's got his real... He's got them in ears. Yeah, his real in ears. Let's see, here's the extender. Cross your fingers. Gonna be I've got to plug back in now. <laughs> I can move this a little closer. A little bit. All right. So then he'll be able. You got everything in there? Much yeah. better? <laughs> He's like, yes, I, I can handle this. I give him a little more volume. That way he knows. All right. Yeah. Now hear yourself. Start playing so you can hear yourself. You feel good about that? All right. These are professionals here. Up a little bit. <laughs> so, without further ado, their triumphant return to the morning overload. Really, what when was the last time you guys were here? Was it 2018? I, I don't know. 2019? Pre-COVID. It was pre-COVID. Yeah. It was pre-COVID. You little babies. Mm. You little babies. <laughs> so, without further ado, once again, it is the band of us. Not a band of us. The band of us. And it's called Drums Are Hard. Is finding different ways to waste my time Scared of all the colors, so I say I'm colorblind The things I want are just too hard And I give up after just a couple tries Anyone can 
say the things that they want to do But how many actually make the first move? We swallow all our dreams to die And reminisce the days we could have tried How long will I say I'm satisfied By watching others' lives stack this brick with good intentions but I separate from friends and feed addictions I wallow in my brand new shoes opportunity but choose to sleep I was made to grow yet I devour robbing my own life hour by hour I watch these wrinkles form around these Aging eyes and weary mouth to this How long will I say I'm satisfied By watching others' lives While I leave mine unoccupied How long will I say I'm satisfied by watching others' lives while I leave mine in the studio all hour long. If you want to text in or anything like that, the number is 805-2-TEXT-US. That's 805-283-9887. My man Jason, he's texting in saying, is this the first live performance in the new studio? And yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Absolutely is. He also says, sounds great on his side. And uh, he says, you guys kind of sound like a little bit of a water deep vibe. Uh, he says, not sure if you know that band, but he does, and I do not. I don't know that. I don't know them. Do we'll you guys look know them up. Yeah, we'll look them up. We'll look them up, Jason. We'll look them yeah, up. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, very nice. And then uh, texting in. This is Morris. Big fan of a band of us. Big fan of Trey. Play scuffs on my shoe. It is a heartwarming tune. <laughs> Just for you, Trey. Just for you. That is uh, that is Mary's little brother. Uh, uh, Aaron. He wrote that song a long time ago. Yeah, but, uh, and he came up with our band name. Oh, that's right. The band of us. <laughs> very very cool. <laughs> So they are here. They are hanging out. A couple more, maybe even three more tunes. You never know what's going to happen. So uh, we're, we're flexible this morning. It doesn't matter because when you got live music, it's always a good time. And when it sounds good, that makes it better. It's the Morning Overload, Revocation Radio. Revocation Radio bringing you Riddle Me This. It's called The Unnecessities here on your Wednesday morning overload. And happy hump day to you. Before that, we had Downtown from Eric Heron. John Walden's my name as we continue to hang out until 10 a.m. every Monday through Friday. And we appreciate you. For being a part of the family, rock, hip hop, and alternative praising Jesus nonstop here at Revocation Radio. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and our and for assisting us in the mission of taking back the airwaves. And so we got a couple of other texts coming in uh, for our great friends, the band of us. Uh, this is Jenna, and I'm listening like a proud sister, all teared up. I love these people so much. That's awesome. And then we've got this other one. It was too long for the uh, the preview, so I had to actually open the full text message here. Uh, let's see. Oh. Mara's mom. Uh, mm. So excited to be listening in this morning. It's Mama Bear. I can't even tell you what a blessing Mara has been to our family. Praying for you, baby girl. So proud of you. All love you to you too, Trey. Oh, yeah. Dad says he too is listening as well. So, oh, good. Yes. Good. Yes. So there we go. There we go. Getting all those incredible shout outs. And uh, got to love the support, man. When you guys are doing something like this, it's a very, very big deal. 
to uh, to have that support system. And uh, you guys also have a church support system where you're all together in that as well, which is pretty incredible. So yeah. shout out to where you guys play and serve and, and what, what that's been like lately. Anybody? Either one of you. Trey? <laughs> Trey's like, hear? I'm not in the microphone right <laughs> what? now. What? Where do we go to church and do we like okay. it? <laughs> no, it's terrible. Gosh. <laughs> oh, I can't believe Jenna and Kyle are listening right now. Oh, my um, gosh. That's awesome. No, we, we love, love, love our church family. We go to Liberty Baptist Church in Chelsea. Um, I'm on staff there part-time as a worship ministry associate. Um, have been for a couple years, um, and it's just... I, I don't think I could have picked a better church to get back into bivocational ministry. I mean, the support system that's there, the pastors that are there, um, you know, there's this long hallway of doors uh, where all the, the pastors have their offices. And, and I just, I love it whenever I enter the building and start walking down that hallway and just opening the door and they're like, Hey, what's going on in your life? And we sit down and talk for like 30 minutes. That's it, awesome. it takes me like four hours to get started on my job. <laughs> but Hey, that part of it, it's a part of your job. Yes, yeah, period. True. And that's, that's a true. big deal. I uh, got another one. So proud of my friends. Y'all have worked so hard and sound amazing. Got y'all playing at work this morning. I love y'all oh. from. Any guesses? Uncle Rich? Nope. Uh, Lindsay. Lindsay! Oh. Wait. Oh, Wait. Lindsay. I wasn't going to take Lindsay. forever to play the guessing game with you guys because <laughs> you have more good music and we want to hear we those just things. just heard a bunch of people's feelings. <laughs> yeah. No, we didn't. It's like, no, that, and you were all still very, very wrong. Um, yeah. and, and you're hoping that these others that are listening now, like, go ahead and text in 805 to text us, 805-283-9887 if you want to show some support this morning. All right, next up, what are, what are, we, what are we singing? What are we hearing right next here? What's it all about? Next up is Dreams Frozen. Um, praise God, I don't struggle with night terrors currently, but I did, and they are very real. And, or they're not real. But, yeah. but it's a dream. Right. It's a very <laughs> real, real experience. It's a real experience. It, it yes. feels real. Um, and anyone who has experienced lack of sleep due to really bad dreams, it, it affects your entire day, the next day. And mm-hmm. if you're doing it every night, it kind of adds up. And then you write a song about, Lord, help me. Uh, just dream nice things and not bad things. But praise God, he has been faithful to give me wonderful dreams recently amen so. amen all right so there's hope for you guys who are having bad dreams that's Come right on. things can change things and they can, can change, change for the better mm-hmm. very nice all right more from the band of us i hope that those are shadows and the screams just noises from the fan I wish I could turn the light on, but I'm too scared to speak or stand. shadows and the screams just noises from the fan I wish I could turn the light on but I'm too scared to speak or stand do you know steps just my heartbeat pounding in my chest I guess that I'm not drowning just the sheets all covered in my sweat
I wish for willows, soft and peaceful dreams. Atop my pillow lies the battleground. Colliding chaos, peace is rarely found. Peace is rarely found. Just a little dream. Put down the dagger. It's just a little dream. Put down the dagger. It's just a little dream. Put down the dagger. It's just a little dream. I know that those are shadows and the screams just noises from the fan. Amazing stuff from the band of us here on your Wednesday morning overload. Wow, great job, guys. Awesome stuff. And more text coming in. Apparently, you guys actually do have friends. I mean, I know that you're a little shocked, but this is uh, pretty incredible stuff. (laughs) Here we go. Hey, you have your legit Morris siding tray, by the way. By the way, I just want to put it out there. Uh, Oh, come on now. Go back to it. There's so many texts. I'm trying to keep up with them. This is Morris. Long time, first time. So glad to be hearing such a sweet message. I'll be at Hattie B's round nine, Trey. (laughs) So just to let you know. uh, TJ and Annie are telling everyone to be quiet and listen to Miss Mara and Mr. Trey. The crates love the band of us cheering for y'all. Uh, Andrew's mom here listening with my students yes. at school. <laughs> love it. Uh, this band is very good. The lead singer is amazing. Her songs go right to my heart, and that one does not have a name with it. So that's I, I can call out the phone number, and then that might not be what we need to do. Uh, y'all are amazing, and I love y'all so much. Loved hearing Mara testify. My whole class is listening this morning. That 24-5 thread is hey. hot. From Huntley at Chelsea Middle School. Yes. Shout out to Chelsea. That's, that's awesome. That's my group of, of uh, accountability ladies. That is fantastic. I mean, there's still more texts coming in. Uh, the best way to start my morning. You guys sound awesome. Look forward to hearing more. Love you, Mara, from Laura Ashley. Uh, what else? From Mara and Trey. Uncle Rich and a bunch of folks. Let's there he is. Yeah, Uncle Rich. Yes. Uncle Rich. Yes. Uh, a bunch of folks at work are listening. Thanks for allowing God to work through you. And uh, Uncle Rich texted in. 2017 was the last time you guys were here, by the way, because that one's dated from Uncle Rich last time. Uh, Let's see. Jerry down in T-Town says, awesome. Uh, Love you guys from Jennifer and Kiara. So, Kiara or Kiara? Kiara. Kiara. I was close. (laughs) It's one or the other. That's why I say both. So, the band of us in here still hanging out. Uh, We definitely have one more, but maybe two more songs. Just saying. Just throwing it out there. (laughs) So, we got more coming up. It is the morning overload. Revocation Radio. A classic from Blindside. It's called Our Love Saves Us on Revocation Radio. Before that, stepping from Miles Minnick. How's it go, Mara? What did you the, say? The, the, the <laughs> Sorry. She was singing it earlier. Like Two she, step. No, it, was, step. It, was, it was big stepping. Big step. Yeah, she's like, big step, big step. She's going with it. So anyway, <laughs> I, I couldn't resist, and then she was totally just not ready Sorry. whatsoever. I'm thinking. It's, it's fine, Mara. I still love you. It's, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're going to make it through this. It's 8.56 on your hump day edition of the show. And uh, ever so grateful for you as we have a studio full. We've got Ethan and Emily and Mara and Trey and Andrew, the band of us. Ethan is, uh, he's the production manager uh, yes. for the whole thing. You know, taking care of the camera work over there and uh, directing uh, all the moves this morning. Making sure everybody's in a good spot and can be seen and all that comes with that. And uh, so we got a couple more. that they're, they're fired up. They're ready. They're having a good time. They will hang over the top of the nine o'clock hour and do one more song for us in a few minutes but first we got to get to this one 
And this is going to be the shortest and simplest song because Mara said she wrote this one on the guitar and she only does three chords when it comes to the guitar. So it's <laughs> so how short is the song? Like two and a half minutes? Two and a half minutes, oh, man. I nailed it. On the head. Nice. Good, good yep. guess. Yay. Yay for a little pat on the back. Okay. Uh, anyway, so what is this one called and what's it all about? This one is called Jacob's Ladder. It's about how hard it is to break um, generational sin, mm. generational routine that's not very helpful. I don't know. What am I trying? Productive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, about a person that I, I met in my past. So. Very cool. Yep. Jacob's Ladder from Jacob's Ladder. the band of us. You won't smile all the way to hide the gaps in your front teeth. Join the service to not be worthless and get some food to eat. Made a baby with a baby and you're far from grown yourself. All you know is broken homes with pills and bottles on the shelf. Jacob's Ladder. Going up and down the family pattern. Always comes right back around Like your father You're a father Who's about to leave his son Like your mother You will smother all emotions Till you're numb Jacob's Ladder Going up and down The family pattern Always comes right back around Jacob's Ladder Going up and down the family pattern Always comes right back around Making do with where you landed Not planning on getting out All the times your mother swam Only taught the kids to drown can do with where you landed not planning on getting out all the times your mother swam only taught the kids to drown Jacob's ladder going up and down the family pattern Always comes right back around Jacob's Ladder Going up and down the family pattern Living on handouts The band of us in the studio. Oh, love live music. So good. Go. So very good as uh, these guys hanging out. And we'll get one more song coming up, but more shout outs because you guys have uh, you got a good support system. Got a good crew. Shout out to Emily from her 24-5 girls Aww. and to Mara from Kyrkus at AOP. How do you say that? Kyrkus? Q-U-E-R-C-U-S. Queer. Quercus. Okay, I did. I had to. I That's didn't know. Melissa. Okay, it very means nice. Oak tree. <laughs> yes. <No>. The <laughs> Melissa with a Y. By the way, I like yeah, that. She's special. Very creative. I'm a fan. Uh, awesome music. Andrew, so proud of y'all. Love Aunt Kathy, uh, the unofficial and unwanted spiritual advisor of the band of us. <laughs> Love listening to my friends Andrew Trey and Mara all the way from Greenville. Aww. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. That's Mikey Fitz. Uh, <laughs> listening from Eclectic. No name. Uh, Nani is loving the band and especially Mara singing from her heart. Aww, so she's the one who say, uh, who uh, texted in uh, earlier as well. Uh, hey, John, it's, it's Wayne, Emily's dad. Yay! Very nice. It, and yes, Wayne. Wayne and I were co-workers for maybe a very short period, but mostly in passing way back <laughs> at uh, WDJZ back in the day. So uh, pretty awesome stuff. And then uh, tell Mara that Miss Patsy is listening. Oh, my neighbor. Miss Patsy. There you go. I mean, I'm telling you, you guys, this is incredible. There's been at least, I don't know, 15 different people that have been texting in for you guys. So pretty awesome stuff, which means that somebody needs to be bringing them for some kind of conference or youth event or men's or women's event. It doesn't matter. Just bring them. They need to play this music for you. 
talking about real life stuff. And we've got more coming up. Text in 805 to text us. That's 805 283 9887. More coming up. It's the morning overload. Revocation Radio. Revocation Radio. That is Disciple. It's called The Executioner. And it is probably my favorite song that we're playing right now. I'm just going to be completely honest. And Mara's over here jamming out. And it's just, mm, it's so good. It's so good. So anyway, before that, we had Rendezvous from Social Club Misfits. John Walden's my name. It is the final hour of the show, and we appreciate you. We love you. We thank you. If you ever need anything beyond just prayer requests and praise reports and and stuff like that, if you have a need, if you have a family member or a friend that has a need, understand that, look, we want to get you connected with a local ministry. What we lack financially, because, look, we're a small nonprofit network. We don't have a lot of money. That's just the truth of the matter. Radio is not this lavish lifestyle. You know, there's a handful of people that make a lot of money, then the rest of us are just normal. Uh, <laughs> not normal the way that we act because we're very strange. But as far as financially, normal and below normal, middle class, lower middle class. That's, that's kind of where we are, right? Um, but nonetheless, we are just uh, so grateful for the opportunity to be able to connect you with churches and organizations that are willing to help you or a family member or a friend, whatever it is that you are going through. So please give us that opportunity. Just text in 805 to text us or email directly prayers at myrevradio.com. It is 9 11 in the AM and a few more moments with our friends, the band of us. And we've had some people asking, Hey, how am I going to find these people online? And I'm like, I don't think they've released anything as the band of us just yet. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. I was, I was making sure I was like, I don't think anything's follow our Facebook page. Okay. So you've changed it from a band of us. To the, to the band, band of, of us. us. Okay. Sorry, old followers. Is it, is it Facebook.com slash the band of us? Yeah. Is that official? Okay. Yeah, so we'll have more social media soon. No, you won't. I don't believe you. You're right. Maybe maybe <laughs> Emily can do it. Let's, let's let Emily do it. Um, Jason, uh, Jason, our buddy, the Magic City Chef, is uh, he's texting back in. He says, let me know when the album drops. He will be purchasing that. So that's awesome. And then uh, band, band is sounding great here at work in Pell City. Love these songs. And that comes from Eric. So Eric's texting in. And I think this is Eric's first time to text in, which is pretty incredible as well. There are so many first-time texters. I cannot do the celebratory first-time texter shout-out thing for everyone. Uh, So I apologize uh, now uh, in this moment in time. Here, I'll just do this. This is because we have so many first-time texters. I will at least play the little sound bite, okay? So there you go. There you go. That That is my most favorite thing that we play on the station. Absolutely love it. All right, final few moments again. We've got Ethan behind the scenes with the camera. We've got Emily. We've got Mara. We've got Trey and Andrew, the band of us. Final song. What is it? Tell me about it. Final song is Dead Man's Grave. Um, The chorus talks about how you can't water a dead man's grave. Mm. Um, What is the chorus? Read it. You can't water a dead man's grave. You're choosing hard times when you're thinking you're safe. So people who are living in utter chaos, and they wonder why, um, and they're choosing it. They are rejecting um, the salvation from Jesus Christ. Um, So you you can't water something that's dead. Mm. As an arborist, that is my opinion. (laughs) (laughs) So that's basically... I mean, you can. It doesn't mean it's going to do anything. It's not going to do much. Yeah. You're going to make some mud. So. <laughs> <laughs> More likely for failure, usually in large trees. Okay, well, let's sing go. the song. Let's. Sing. Right, let's do that. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. you and you refuse the blood that I bled for you sleeping with strangers and toying with dangers I warned you you laugh at the bad and scoff at the good you don't even enjoy the taste of your own food seeking redemption while bathing in lies you say tomorrow I will choose to do right you can't water a dead man's grave You're choosing hard times when you're thinking you're safe You can't water a dead man's grave You're choosing hard times when you're thinking you're safe Collecting the seeds that I gave you, but you didn't water Instead of protection, your lies and deception pulled you farther 
laugh at the bad and scoff at the good You don't even enjoy the taste of your own food Seeking redemption while bathing in lies You say, tomorrow I will choose to do right You can't water a dead man's grave You're choosing hard times when you're thinking you're saved You can't water a dead man's grave You're choosing hard times when you're thinking you're saved Good, feeling right. Yeah. I was like, we, I was like, where's that little buzz coming? It's coming from the amp. I was like, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if you're not, if you don't have a little buzz in the amp there. I mean, it's not a, it's not a dirty distortion. I mean, come on, you're playing electric guitar for a reason, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> oh man, awesome job! And again, go look them up. The band of us. The band of us. Is there only a Facebook page right now? Did you guys not start an Insta or anything like that yet? You guys sounded old like me. I mean, I have an Instagram. I don't ever use it, but. That's we uh yeah we do have an Instagram okay. but it's under the old name oh yeah um so yeah this all happened within the past few months it's happening very quickly so we're we're not caught up yet on the marketing but and we social will be. media stuff but we definitely will be so <laughs> we have Emily. maybe look in a few days on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and all those places and they'll be there and and LinkedIn of course that's the most important <laughs> one. The uh, what? You want to link with LinkedIn. me, so. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> I, I think you're going to be good to we're, not we're have the band profile on LinkedIn. Now, if you want to look up Trey Wood and Mara yeah. Wood, I mean, you can do that and find them. And if you have any tree issues, Mara wants to take care of that for you. Please. Oh, yeah. She wants to help Please you. Please let me come look at your trees. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. Well, as we wrap things up, uh, final words and thoughts from everybody, and I'll just go down the line and make it easier. Ethan, anything that you ever wanted to just say on the radio? Uh, as you continue to make me feel old, I was through. I was a kid growing up. I mean, we're only five years difference. I mean, for crying out loud, no. right? And, that, and isn't that what it is? No, it's more like ten years. Difference. No, no, no. I totally, I'm totally just taking the thirty-five. Oh yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah. yeah no, I'm kidding. No, no. Uh, I'm more of a behind-the-scenes guy. I, I run the sound. I run the lights. I don't. I don't. Get up front that often. So, uh, <laughs> Dude, Ethan does the lights at our church. She's one of the guys, and he does a phenomenal mm-hmm. job. Believe mm-hmm. that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you, Ethan, for doing that for them. I know that that's pretty incredible as well, as he's still going. 
By the way, he's still filming. He is. As, as we put him <laughs> on stop. the air, so that's pretty awesome. All right, Emily, what about you, ma'am? This has been such a really cool experience. It's been really fun. Um, I'm so thankful and appreciative to be in the band of us. You know, it's it's been an uplifting experience. We'll we'll recap uh, after our or before and after our practices, and like, how was your day? Tell us one good thing, one bad thing, you know, what's going on in your life, and just to have the uplifting people around you to support you and love on you even in your, you know, your dark days is has been so encouraging, and I look forward to whatever is in the future for us. Mm. Amen. Very well said. All right, Mara. Um, thank you for letting us be on the radio. I really appreciate it. You're very well. Um, everyone who's listening out there, you are not alone if you are a child of Jesus Christ. And if you're not, call this radio station. There's people here to help. Contact someone. Contact us. We love you, and we want to point you to Jesus. Amen. So. Amen. Yeah. Trey? Man, well, I'm just so thankful that you let us back on again. Yeah. Always. And to bring these people uh, with us as well. Um, a lot of last-minute adjustments. So I thank you so much, John Walden. And, and again, to the people out there, you know, um that are listening to this music and and the words we write and the the chord structures the melodies everything you know it's all to glorify christ and and while i i hate you know the things that mara went through to get through those uh those painful words um you know like dreams frozen um i'm so thankful at god's faithfulness to bring her through it mm. um he never fails Amen. never does Amen. um so that's it awesome all right let's Andrew. flip it over to andrew Trey's just so selfish. <laughs> it doesn't even help you, Andrew. I have the microphone. You sat over there and just mixed the whole thing and took care of everything, <laughs> and he's like, whatever. Well, I, hopefully I make my, uh, my sound man father proud of me. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't break the mixing board. Uh, no, I just, I just want to say it. You know, I don't, like, don't want to get too romantic or sappy about music, but it's hard not to. But uh, doing this with these people, um, you know, it came at one of the worst and best possible times of my life. And, it, you know, it means a lot to me to be able to – to play music with them and just, you know, share life with them. I know that's a great church phrase there, but but we're, we're doing it, and uh, I couldn't be more grateful. So thanks for having us on. Absolutely. And, Sam and says, share the load. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love a Lord of the Rings yeah. reference. All right, hold on, Andrew. I've got, I've got to – I heard something off the air that was going back and forth Uh-oh. with you guys. Oh, boy. You are essentially a professional Star Wars fanboy. <laughs> it's only professional if you get paid for it. Oh. And I don't get paid for it, unfortunately. But you help but run a website and all that stuff, right? I do, yes. So do you do you put some of the gospel centric undertones in there? Do you do you ever speak of those so things? It's, it's actually funny. Uh, one of the staff, one of the other staff members who run who runs one of the podcasts, he is a pastor of a church, a head pastor of a church, and he and I have had a lot of the, uh, conversations about the the. Uh, crossover between you know our Christian theology and you know what George Lucas did with Star Wars and how he was influenced by a lot of different religions, including Christianity. But um, he actually has a podcast. I'll plug it for him, but it's called Hyperspace Theology, where they talk Star Wars and faith. So very cool, very yeah. cool. And uh, take that angle very quickly because you know a lot of people get upset. It's like quit, quit worrying with all this fictitious stuff and just live a life and. Um, extracurriculars are good. Oh, absolutely. Uh, whether it's sports, comic books, Star Wars, I mean, whatever that is. But but talk about the opportunities that you Sorry. get. Oh, you're good. It, it didn't come over the microphone. Uh, talk about the opportunities that you get when it comes to sharing your faith through Star Wars and the opportunities that arise from that. It's great. It's just because to me, you know, God speaks to us through, you know, I mean, anyway. You know, as a creator of all th- things, he gets to choose how he speaks to people. Sometimes he speaks through fiction, you know, because fiction is God is the ultimate author and he's the ulter, ultimate author of fiction because all the stories we tell, you know, um, ultimately, I think I want to say it was Tolkien or Lewis, you know, had something along the same line of like probably, probably Lewis because Tolkien hated analogies and, <laughs> and al- allegories. But uh, I think it was C.S. Lewis, you know, talking about how, you know, God is the ultimate, um, ultimate writer and ultimate storyteller and all of our stories come from him. So that's so awesome. That's, I, that, that you know, just something I wanted to throw out there because a lot of people they get upset. It's like, man, stay in your lane, you know, stay focused right. on, on the Lord. It's like, it's okay, you can reach the world, the ones who don't know Him, through things Preach. that are not, mm-hmm. you know, uh, out of the church. I mean, we can't reach the lost when we stay in the church nonstop. So right. anyway, yeah. I, th- I thought that was an awesome thing with you guys talking. I'm, I'm a, I'm a Batman guy myself. I so. see that. Yeah. yeah oh, <laughs> oh, I have yes. 
I have multiple bat suits. So there's, <laughs> that's the real thing. That is very, very true. But we'll talk about that later. Anyway, anyway, the band of us. Look them up. Book them. Let me know. I'll get you in contact with them and uh, get them at your next conference, at your next event. It doesn't matter. Youth group on a Wednesday night. They're still young enough. They can totally do it. They can totally do it. They still relate. Mara still acts like a 12-year-old half the time. So it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. And she didn't say, no, I don't. Because she it's knows. True. It's true. I do, too. I'm more like an 8 work in preschool sometimes. Amen to that. But, yeah, please look them up. And an awesome job. Seriously, you guys. I'm so proud of uh, Thanks, everything. Dylan. You just keep doing an awesome Thanks, job. It, it gets Thank better. You. Like, I don't, you know, you think it can't get better. Actually, it gets better. It's amazing. Amazing. So the band of us, look them up, and we'll keep you updated on the station here as well. More coming up. It's the Morning Overload, Revocation Radio.